At the very heart of religion lies what we call a reason to believe. If there's no reasonable explanation or proof, no relevant experience to motivate us, we are usually quick to allow doubt, not faith, to rule our actions. And so, people look for signs. We hope to be fed. We search for explanations and proof, and for many people, the best we can do is embrace a faith that makes sense. St. Stephen was able to sacrifice his life because of his love for God and because of the co commitment he made when he became a deacon. He promised that he would serve the Christian widows who were former pagans. Oftentimes, the pagan people were called the uncircumcised by Jewish people. And Stephen was despised because A, he was a former Jew who became a Christian, and B, he was serving pagan widows. In his testimony, Stephen called the members of the Sanhedrin uncircumcised in heart and views, because they always opposed the Holy Spirit. They didn't like that very much. And that's why they stoned him to death. But St. Stephen's motivation for being a man of faith was service. Service to the lowliest of God's people on earth. One of the greatest efforts of evangelization today is to turn people's way of thinking about faith into a new direction. There's really only one main reason to be people of faith. That's what God calls us to do. We don't need proof or explanations. All we need to do is make the decision and stick with it even if we stumble and fall along the way. Faith does not always make perfect sense for us. And most of us have to learn what it means after we have made the decision to be disciples of Jesus Christ. The interesting thing is that when we make that choice, we do so because it's good sense. It feels natural and right. Maybe, I'm not sure, but maybe that's because God would never ask us to do anything. 